Hi guys, it's uh, Jay from Windows Phone Central here. Um, we're going to give you a video overview slash review of the Nokia Lumia 720. Um, as you can see, I've got the device here. Uh, let's start with the hardware. Uh, in terms of physical appearances, I think the Lumia 720 is one of the most distinctive and kind of the purest expression of the Windows Phone, uh, or certainly the Nokia Lumia uh, design language that has ever been experienced. If I go ahead and pop the cover off here, you'll see that the single unit body design is just it's fantastic. It's kind of an, an evolution of what the Nokia Lumia 800 was all about. Uh, you'll find that uh, on the right hand side, as always, you've got the Nokia standard three uh, camera buttons, uh, sorry, three hardware buttons here, uh, including, of course, the camera button, the dedicated power button, and the volume buttons. Uh, the rear, as is again st quite standard for most Nokia uh, Windows Lumia phones now, you've got the uh, micro USB port. Uh, and up top, you've got this uh, very svelte, very nicely uh, sort of flush with the, uh, ca with the uh, casing 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, up top here we've also got the uh, the micro sim tray and on the right hand side any of the uh, break is for the micro sd slot uh, the back features a 6.7 megapixel camera with a single led flash that's a take note that's not a dual led flash so it's a little bit a little bit less powerful um, not quite as good in the low light uh, the speaker is located just down here and uh, when you attach on one of these cases you'll notice that there's a nice little uh, gap for that uh, and of course this case is required uh, for the G wireless charging option. You'll see that the three ports, just like the uh, Lumia 925 and the 520 VAT, line up nicely here. I'm going to go ahead and snap that case on because personally I've been using it with this case constantly. And it's a really easy case to snap on and I think it gives it quite a nice sort of edge. Uh, I quite like the way that the lines uh, move along here. And in terms of the performance of this device, you'll find that it is a lower mem low memory uh, lower hardware configuration version of Windows Phone. Uh, unlike the Nokia Lumia 1020, which of course comes with uh, two gigabytes of RAM, or even the Nokia Lumia 920, which comes with one gig, uh, you're limited to half a gigabyte or 512 megabytes of RAM on this device, and it goes with a uh, dual core one gigahertz Snapdragon processor. For most operations, you can see nothing gets slowed down. This is really this is a really quick uh, device, uh, and it does load you know all of the latest apps and the latest betas even uh, with you know relatively relative speed. But you will notice that I saw a couple of seconds of that loading screen, and it's something that's a sort of general uh, a theme. I think is the best way of putting it. Uh, if you're used to, or if you've spent any real amount of time with the higher end Lumia devices or any of the Windows Phone devices, in fact, you do just notice that everything takes a couple of seconds more to load. It's not slow. It doesn't stutter. It doesn't take uh what's the problem with this you're not experiencing lag here it's not like the ui is slow to respond you will just notice that maybe every now and again you'll be sort of waiting a couple of seconds for something to load uh, and that's okay uh, so apart from that if we look at the performance the the internal also contains uh oh, sorry, limited 720 sorry comes with uh, eight gigabytes of inbuilt storage um that's good um mainly because you can expand it with the uh, micro SD card slot that we've mentioned on the side here. Uh, and as with all Windows phones of a sort of lower area, of a lower uh, hardware like this, you do need to put in, the, uh, put in a card and you need to store all your pictures and all your music on that card. And that's simply because if we actually look at the storage, I mean, I've not got that many apps on here. I've got five to 10 uh, games installed on this particular device. Uh, and yet if I was to go to uh, storage right here, uh, you'll see that I have only got about 1.51 gig free at this point. And there, here we go again, this demonstrates the fact that you do have to wait a little bit of time for things, some things to load. Um, and I've only got 1.51 uh, gig of uh, storage left on this device. Um, it fills up rather quickly just with apps and app storage. Uh, now, of course, you can use the, uh, the Lumia Storage Checker app, which is uh, included uh, as part of Nokia Windows devices now. Um, but it's not going to clear up everything and if you're going to want to have a few maps on there if you're going to want to be able to basically install a particular number of apps or if you consider yourself even slightly more than a casual gamer it is going to be a sticking point uh, but then again casual gamers shouldn't be looking at this device at all and that is simply because windows phones with uh, 512 megabytes of ram cannot install all types of apps uh, and we go into that bit more detail in the in the uh, written review so to come on then to cameras uh, to come on to the image performance of this particular device it's actually really quite good. Uh, the the rear, mega, the rear camera is a 6.7 megapixel camera with an f 1.9 aperture, um, which means it takes decent, if not fantastic, low light shots. But because there's no optical image stabilization, you will need to have a steady hand if you plan on taking low light shots without using the flash. Um, I've got a couple of sample photos here that I've been taking, and it's the kind of thing where it's difficult to show on a video. But uh, as you can see, uh, it does pick out excellent colors. Um, the focal range is pretty good. I can get some quite uh, cool looking macro shots. I'm not an expert photographer unlike some of the other guys on our site, but I personally think this is a pretty good device. Uh, the front-facing camera is what it is. It's a wide-angle lens. It does the job pretty well. Um, 
there's nothing to be said bad about it in particular. Um, let's see if I can find another good advice. Just trying to find a landscape shot that I was taking as well. Uh, that's a pretty decent one. Oh, that's a panorama that I was playing around with photosynth there. Uh, and again, you'll see sort of the color replication. In fact, this probably is more of a demonstration of the screen rather than the uh, pitch quality. Uh, but it is good. Uh, you won't be disappointed by this. Real uh, people who are, what's the right word, people with a vested interest in photography probably shouldn't be looking at this as a main device. Uh, but there's something to take around with you, especially on holidays, uh, to take around to sort of capture general moments. As long as you're not expected to do too much in low light, then I think this is a fantastic uh, camera. Um, but, you know, there are there is room for improvement and you do get quite a lot of noise if you try and take a, a, a picture in particularly low light with no LED as you can see here uh, you turn the LED on and it's just not an even uh, spread of light as you can tell from this sort of dark patch here uh, so I don't particularly think this is a, a camera to, to end all cameras and people should really be looking at the uh, the higher end Nokia Lumias if imaging is an important part of your Windows Phone experience. I want to take a moment to talk about battery life here, particularly because this device is absolutely fantastic in terms of battery. Now, I've been using this since, uh, well, 7 o'clock in the morning, according to this time. You can see it's now 6 o'clock in the evening when I'm uh, recording this. Uh, and the battery is on 41% remaining, and I've been hammering it today. I've been playing music, I've been playing games, I've been on the internet all over the place because I've been traveling. Uh, and honestly, this, <laughs> this phone performs when it comes to battery life. You can see it still thinks it can last another 11 hours uh, based on the, uh, the estimates there, although everybody who uses a Windows phone will tell you those estimates are not exactly accurate. Um, still, I think you can get with moderate use out of this, you can get two days solid out of the battery. Uh, and with, you know, if you're if you're going to dial back your usage and you're going to try and be a little bit more uh, cautioned, uh, then I think you'll get even more. I think you'll actually get something in the region of three days out of this. And if you were really, really trying to save battery, you could you could get close to five days a working week out of this device. Uh, the reason for that is that despite the fact we've got a you know a lower spec device here and the, the screen here is a WVGA, so it's not a high definition screen that it has to power. Um, Despite all that, Nokia have still put in a 2,000 milliamp hour battery life uh, battery pack. Sorry, uh, and that's the same battery that's found in the higher end Lumia 920 and the higher end Lumia 925, uh, and of course the 928. Uh, and what that means is that despite the fact that we've got a huge battery pack, there's not an awful lot of uh, of, of components that are going to be sapping away at the battery. Uh, only really having the screen on at the moment. I've got it on maximum brightness just for this review. Um, only really having the screen on, so doing the more intensive tasks that are going to really drain the battery and. That battery pack lasts. I think this is probably the best battery life of any Windows phone that I've used. Um, yeah, in fact it is. It is without a doubt the best battery life of any Windows phone I've used. Um, I never have to worry about it running out in one day. Uh, and quite often I can go two days without worrying about charging it. Um, and of course when charging does come, the fact that you can have this additional case to have the uh, well, the wireless charging is a bonus, although I do wish it was built in. And then again, as you can see, it does add a little bit of uh, thickness. And if it was built in, the device wouldn't be what it is, uh, which is such a thin and such a beautiful uh, Windows phone. So that's the Nokia Lumia 720. Um, it is a fantastic device. Uh, throughout my review time with it, I've been trying to answer the question that Daniel and I asked when we first saw it at Mobile World Congress uh, way back at the beginning of this year. Uh, and that is who's it for. Uh, you have got the option of having a Lumia 820 for about the same kind of price, if not a little bit more. Uh, and the Lumia 820 comes with a full spec, uh, you know, with the, uh, the much larger capabilities uh, because of the one gigabyte of RAM, because it can run all the different apps. It, but still has the eight gigabyte inbuilt storage and it also has completely interchangeable covers rather than sort of forcing you down this unibody design. Um, I think I can answer that question now. I think that for anybody who doesn't care about that, that limitation, anybody who doesn't mind, doesn't need to have the latest apps and need to have every single app that's available on the Windows Phone Marketplace, and isn't even that much of a gamer, this is the right device for you. Uh, and that's because in every other way, I believe it's better than the Lumia 820. The battery life is outstanding and a reason alone to, to own this device if battery life is important to you. Um, performance is fast, you know, apart from a couple of times seeing the loading screen, which you just don't notice after a while, uh, then it, everything runs absolutely fantastically. Um, there's just not an awful lot bad to say about it. I do kind of wish it wasn't limited. Things like the, the new Hipstamatic app, for instance, won't install on this device. And again, we've been into detail as to why that is before. Uh, but in, in every other way, this is a fantastic Windows phone. Um, it's kind of a switch to be my daily driver just because I like how reliable it is. Um, it's not perfect. There are a couple of crash problems which need to be fixed with a firmware update. Um, and 
you know, every now and again I will catch myself going to my games folder and thinking, oh, I can't play the latest Mass Effect game or I can't play sort of the high-end things. Uh, but if you only want a few casual games to kill a little bit of time, then there's nothing about this phone that should stop you from buying it, uh, and I really highly recommend it. Uh, so there you go. That's the Nokia Lumia 720. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.